In this video, I'd like to talk about taking square roots of decimals and fractions. So we have this example problem where we're taking the square root of 25 divided by 196. And remember what a square root is asking us to find. Essentially, we're looking for a number that, when multiplied by itself, gives us whatever is underneath the square root symbol. So what number multiplied by itself gives us 25 divided by 196? And when you have a fraction, essentially you can take the square root of the numerator and then divide it by the square root of the denominator. So we could write it generally, where if we have the square root of a over b, that this is simply the square root of a divided by the square root of b. So let's apply this principle to this particular problem. So I'll rewrite it. We have the square root of 25 over 196. And like I mentioned, we can just take the square root of the top, square root of 25, and divide it by the square root of 196. Now what number multiplied by itself gives you 25? That is just 5, since 5 times 5 is 25. And in the denominator, what number multiplied by itself gives you 196? Well, that's 14. So this is what we think is our answer here, but let's check it. And the checking process for these is fairly straightforward. All we're gonna do is take our answer, what we think is the answer, and just multiply it by itself to see if we get back the number that was originally underneath the square root. And we know five times five, that is 25, and 14 times 14, that is 196. And you can check this with a calculator. So this worked out, we got back what we expected. So we can feel confident that this 5 fourteenths would be our final answer, or would be the square root of this fraction. So let's move on and look at some different examples. And in this one we have a decimal. Now when you have a decimal there is a little bit of extra work, namely you want to rewrite this decimal as a fraction. So we have 1.96, and this is 1 and 96 hundredths. So we can write it as a mixed number and then write it as an improper fraction from there. So this decimal part, 96 hundredths, remember this is the hundredths place, this is the tenths place. So we have 96 hundredths, which we can just write as 96 over 100. And 1 and 96 over 100 is simply 196 hundredths. Now, if this last step didn't make much sense, remember that one is really just 100 hundredths. And when you have a mixed number, you're taking the whole number and adding the fractional part. So it's one plus 96 over 100, or 100 over 100 plus 96 over 100, which we would add the numerator since the denominators are the same, so you'd get 196 over 100. And from here, we can actually take the square root. So to take the square root of 1.96, we first rewrite it as a fraction, which is 196 hundredths. And from here, we can take the square root of the numerator and divide it by the square root of the denominator. So we know the square root of 196, that's just 14, since 14 times 14 is 196. And the square root of 100 is 10, since 10 times 10 is 100. So we could simplify this further since they're each divisible by 2. So 14 divided by 2 is 7, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 7 fifths would be our final answer here. And if we want, we can even write this as a decimal, since actually in this step it'd be easier. We have 14 tenths, or this is 1 and 4 tenths if we want to write it as a mixed number. And we have one for our whole part and four tenths, so four would go in the tenths place. Now to check this one, you could either multiply fractions or you can multiply decimals. So let's check this. We'll multiply decimals this time. So we can do 1.4 times by 1.4, and hopefully, if we did this correctly, we'll get back 1.96. So to multiply decimals, remember, you ignore the decimals first, and then at the end, you count up how many decimal places you have in total, which is two, and you move the decimal two places over. So we'll do that at the end. 
So let's just ignore them for now. So we do 4 times 4, which is 16. We carry up the 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. We put a 0 to move to the next place over. And we do 1 times 4, which is 4, and 1 times 1, which is 1. Let me just make a little more room here. And now we add. So going straight down, 6 and 0 makes 6. 5 and 4 makes 9. And bringing the 1 down, we get 196. But again, remember, we now have to count up the decimal places. We have 2. So we move the decimal two places over in our answer. So essentially 1.4 squared is equal to 1.96, which is exactly what we expected. So that way we can feel confident that either 7 fifths or this 1.4, this is the correct answer here.